point is that all my clients that have done this have seen significant improvement. It's different depending on your, on your age, but here's a couple examples. 10 year old could finally keep his room and his backpack organized. A uh, guy who's 14, who's getting C's and, D, and a D, brought him up to straight B's. 14 year old got the best grade of his life, straight A's. 25 year old guy, this guy, really smart guy, totally disorganized, all over the map. Uh, married, his wife is a faculty member at a university. Really fine, finally started to, he, he got his index really high, finally kind of matched his IQ and, and did much better. 48 year old guy, got the best job of his life. 50 year old woman who hadn't worked a job in a long time, had a tough time staying focused, really tough time being organized, did Cogmed, got a job, still has a job. But one, one guy that, that did Cogmed um, had a law degree, but didn't have a, a license in, in the state of Indiana. After he got met, he took the, the uh, bar this week. I, talk, I called him and I talked to him. He took it this week. He, he thinks he passed it. He had, a, he had a license in another state, and when he moved here, he never renewed it. Got disorganized, can't keep track of things, needs to get it now. I and mean, there's a 65 year old guy, the guy. This story I didn't tell earlier. This guy, this is a funny story. He took a typing class when he was, when he was in 1964, which is the year I was born. He took a typing class. And after that class, he continued to hunt and pack. His whole life, right? This is the, the guy who you know, knows a lot about working memory. Takes a copy of that and all of a sudden he starts typing with two hands. He thought it was awesome. He's like, it's absolutely because of working memory. I couldn't remember what I was supposed to type and remember where the keys were. So anyway, so advantages for parents. It works. People finish it because of that coaching support. It's efficient in that you're focused and you know you're done. Okay, unlike say via feedback, it keeps going on, I'm not sure you're done. With Cognite, everybody finishes the same number of sessions essentially, unless you want to do extension training. Adaptive to you, stuff sticks, meaning that you can learn things now. The other thing that I really like about it is it sets a precedent for hard work pays off in success. So you have a model of this person worked hard, they did five days a week, five weeks they worked hard, and man, they're doing better. Hey, well, I want to get good at skateboarding or whatever. I'm going to work at it. And, and there's a model for how you get better at something by working hard. Labeling diagnosing is not necessary. So when somebody comes to me for cognitive, they don't have to have been labeled ADHD. But between the initial interview and depending upon whether I want to you know, have them administer, take some rating scales or whatever, um, we can decide whether they're appropriate for Cognomed. But it's not, you don't have to be labeled ADHD to do Cognomed or, or, or whatever. Um, proven results, it's a service, not a product, so you don't just toss out the software. The research is solid, uh, et cetera. Um, no side effects. So I'll ask some points related to side effects. Um, so here he's six. <laughs> And it goes by really fast, right? So he's 12. One thing you don't know about 12 year olds, which I did not know until I went back and looked at this research, is that the number one um, drug of abuse for 12 year olds are prescription drugs. Now it's not necessarily you know, ADHD drugs, but it's prescription drugs. Um, it's 12 to 17 years, number two. College students, number three, after I think basically alcohol and pot. Uh, so it's going on a lot more than you think. And 16 year olds actually you know, call it farming, at least some of them do. And the percentage is, you know, the, they abuse cough syrup, so 15%, 14% abuse cough syrup. So they're abusing strange things, but a lot of more prescription because these get yeah, it's in your house, your friend, everybody has it, get from your buddy. So something to think. Now the other thing that's interesting, this was another study that I found which was really interesting, which was uh, in this study, what they found in 2007 was that was that 73% of teens reported that school stress was the primary reason for drug abuse. Completely new thing. They never, usually it was because you want to feel cool, you want to be cool, you want to be in, whatever. But that was stunning because it makes you think about the fact that these kids are aware, they're under pressure academically, they had high stakes achievement scores, they got all this stuff going on, and it's tough to get a job out there. But, but anyway, it's because of academic stress. So the other thing is that study that I pointed out earlier, the, the multimodal treatment of attention deficits were 485 subjects. Um, but basically, the results were disappointing, and they actually call for innovative approaches that are targeted. So that's kind of what that one. So next step, you can talk to me. You can talk to some of our coaches over, over at our, our booth today. There's also an email autoresponder that I have that'll give you more information. Some of this is repeated in there, but it'll give you more information about it. Um, and then you can kind of discuss with me, or we can set up an initial session and, and see what you think. But we have a minute or two if anybody has any questions for me, but I'm going to stop at that point, at right now. So any questions? Yeah. My daughter has ADHD and we struggle to get home like that. We're getting to start school here Monday. How would you make time to do this also? I mean, yeah, yeah, completely valid question. You have 35 minutes to do this and you have, or an hour to do this and 
homework that should only take a half hour takes us four hours at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're, you're not the only ones. I mean, uh, it, it's a tough call. I mean, one of the core things that you have to look at is your schedule. And you have to look at the, some kids have too many sports or too many lessons or whatever. If you feel like the workload is overwhelming and it's just too much to do right now, then I would wait. Um, the part of the, it's a judgment call. I mean, but, but the, the short answer